Um, nice, fishy, fishy, fishy. Stay, stay. Ah! Ah, stop, put me down. Uh, put me down. Oh, please put me down. That wasn't very nice. I'm no threat. I'm Andy. Oh, oh my bottom. What was that? Oh, oh, it's a sea urchin. I can see why Mr. Hammond wasn't able to dance for a week. Those spines are really sharp. And look, they're eating that young kelp, just like the big ones back at Safari World. Oh, it's you again. Now, look, you dropped me right onto one of these spiky urchins. If anything, they're the problem around here, not me. Whoa, look at that. The Garibaldi just picked up the urchin by those sharp spines and dragged it away. And another. And another. Incredible. It must be doing a spot of housekeeping. He just removes everything from his territory, including me. Here we go again. Oh, oh tickles. No. Oh, oh, you know what? If the Gary Bordy is so good at removing sea urchins, then maybe that's what we need back at Safari World. Um, thanks for the lift, but would you mind putting me down now, please? Oh, thank you. Well, that hardly ever works. Right, I need to tell Jen the good news. Oh, no. The urchins are just crawling back to where they came from. Oh, there must be another answer. Something else must be driving the urchins away. But all I can see here are fish and sea otters. Hmm, what's that one up to? Oh, he's definitely got something. Ah, and it looks like he's taking it back to the surface. It's an urchin! The otter's eating it! Of course! That's what's missing from the aquaforest dome back at Safari World. Otters! I'll call Jen to let her know. Oh, Andy, thank goodness. Have you found out how to stop the urchins from eating all the kelp? They're getting really out of control here. And I don't think I can put off Mr. Hammond from his dive for much longer. It's all right, Jen. I've got the answer. Sea otters, they love eating urchins. It must be one of their favourite foods. Really? Wow, that's great news. Let's all go on these erratic adventures. Hey, join the crew! A watery 